Okay, so the last really big thing I want to talk about related to uh, congruent triangles is something that's called corresponding parts. Of congruent triangles are congruent. I'm going to abbreviate here. Okay, we see this pop up a little bit. This is sort of taking triangle congruence proofs sort of to the next level. And, and here's how we use it. If I give you a diagram, let's see, I'll say that something we've seen before. I give you something that looks like this. A, B, C, D. And I want you to show me not just that these two triangles are congruent. You'll have to show me that first. But what I really want to know is R angle B and angle D congruent to each other. Really, I want you to prove that to me. Okay, given this information. Now, to do that, you're going to use this. Corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. And here's what that is. If I know that two triangles are congruent, whether I show it via side, 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 angle, side, or one of my other uh, couple of, of theorems and postulates, if I know that they're congruent, I know that not just the side, side, and side are congruent, as we'll find out in this case, but Everything else about them, all corresponding parts, have to be congruent. So let's just jump into this one here. Uh, I know that side's congruent to that side. I've got another side that's congruent. And you've seen this before. They share this side, so that side is congruent to itself. So I know that my two triangles, so triangle ABC is congruent to triangle CDA. Okay. I know those two triangles are congruent. And that's because side, 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 which really tells me nothing about the angles. I don't, I don't know anything about the angles, right? But this says that I do. And really, if we go back to our beginning definition of congruent triangles, where if two triangles are congruent, it means that they are the same triangle, right? You could take this triangle and lay it perfectly on that. You may have to rotate it, flip it whatever, but it's really the exact same triangle. Okay, it would lay perfectly on the other one. And so we know by that definition that, that all corresponding sides of this triangle are congruent to the corresponding sides of this one. And all angles of this one that correspond to the angles of this one also have to be congruent. So that's what this says. That says that corresponding parts of one triangle have to be congruent to the other triangle's corresponding parts. Okay, so again, we know that the corresponding sides are all congruent to each other, but now we would know that, yeah, angle B, since it corresponds with angle D, that, that that has to be congruent also because of this. Okay, and really that's the definition of congruence. Okay, and then we could also say that C, not just C, right? Angle B, C, A, this angle here is congruent to this angle here. Same reason. Okay, again, we didn't know anything about those angles starting out. But because we were able to show that these two triangles are congruent to each other, we know that all corresponding angles are too. Okay? So, again, all six pieces of information, all sides and angles, right? Three sides, three angles of one have to be congruent to the corresponding three sides and three angles of the other. So, yes, angle B and angle D are congruent because corresponding parts. So congruent triangles are congruent. Okay. So, if you have to write a proof, let's go ahead and do that real quick. To say, to answer this, really, we're trying to prove that angle B and angle D are congruent to each other. Okay, that's our charge now. First, we have to show that the triangles are congruent. 
Okay, so we take our given information. We were given in this case that side AB was congruent to CD. Okay, we were also told as a given BC and DA are congruent. Okay, for the same reason also given. And then next we said that this third side had to be congruent to itself. Okay, so AC congruent to AC because of the reflexive property, right? It's the same, same side for both triangles. Okay, now, three. I had to show those two triangles were congruent to each other. That's what I did here with side, side, side. So, oops, triangle A, B, C, congruent to triangle C, D, A, side, side, side. That was my reason. Right? And then, Beyond that, okay, this is where we go and do something a little bit different. We know that since the two triangles are congruent, then yeah, all the corresponding parts, which includes B and D, also have to be congruent. So angle B is congruent to angle D because corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent, and there's abbreviation at its best right there. Corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. Okay, that's all. You'll see that pop up uh, a decent amount, and that's again just sort of taking triangle proofs uh, a little bit to the next level. Alright, that should be it. Happy hunting.